This is the DJI Reveneye. Today I will show you how you can set up, update the transmitter and use cases. First step, you have to download the Ronin app. If you are an iPhone user, you can download it from the App Store. But if you are an Android user, you have to download it from the DJI website. The link is in the description. This is the first step. Once you have installed the app, let's go to the second step. Mounting the transmitter to gimbal. I'm using DJI RS3. You need to push harder to mount it to the gimbal, but it sits really stable. Step number three, cable connection. I am using a Sony A7 IV. It has a full-size HDMI port. That's why I'm using the HDMI cable. On the gimbal you see three USB-C ports. The first one is the connection to the camera. The second one is for 3D or LiDAR connection, I don't have it. The third one is the connecting point to the transmitter. Let's check the connections. What do you think, Raven? Next step is connecting the smartphone with your transmitter. It connects over wireless LAN. For this, you have to press the button till the light turns red. Red means it's going to be shown in your wireless LAN list. Choose Ravenite. The password is 12345678. Now you can connect to Ravenite. If the light is green, it worked. This is how it looks like when you turn on the app. This button brings your gimbal to standard position. You have two options to control your gimbal. The first one is using the gyroscope. The second one is using the joystick. If you use your smartphone to control your gimbal, you can make fast moves and play around and let your gimbal dance. The second way is enabling the joystick. If you enable it, you are going to see on the left bottom side the joystick. With the joystick, you can move your gimbal very smooth and precise. What else do you get in the app? You can change the colors and view of the display. Honestly, I'm not using that at all. On the right side, you have additional options like a guide frame. You can turn it off or choose another view or you can change the color of your grid or you can activate safety zone maker etc under about you're gonna see the serial number of your Revni and the firmware version if you don't have the newest one you can update the point is with my android 
iPhone, I didn't have the option to update. It means I didn't have the message on the top for new version. After switching to my iPhone, I had this message. I just clicked on update and it did it in about four minutes. The steps are really easy. Just click on update. When it's done, it's gonna ask you to connect Raveneye Wi-Fi again. When you connect again, you're gonna see that it's complete. If not, you can repeat the process. Today I went out for sample footage to show you how the tracking function is working. I'm going a little bit left with the joystick. I am choosing my object and start recording. If you start recording with the record button on your smartphone, it's going to record only on your phone, not on the camera. It means you have to start recording with your camera. This is a downside. The purpose of a gimbal is to keep your camera stabilized, showing in one direction. You move to the right, up, down, left, it stays stable. The Ravenite makes here a change. You can focus an object, no matter where you move, up, down, left, right, it's going to be focused on the object. It means you can have your record from different angles. Here is another example of my speaker. It stays focused on the speaker, no matter where I move the gimbal. You are a vlogger, you have no cameraman, you have no assistant and you want to be tracked. It means you want the camera to follow you. As you see here, I have chosen myself as object. I show the graphic, go to the right and do magic stuff. And the camera is following me. And on my left hand I have my phone. I see at this moment what the camera is recording. Or you can let your camera follow your steps. If you have any questions, please write down in the comments. I will try to answer all of them. And if you want to support my work, my content, please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.